Well, you would think that it would be early in the morning and we're saying good morning bright and early. No, it's actually the complete <laughs> opposite. It is definitely like 8 o'clock at night and our day is pretty much just starting. Well, sort of. I mean, it's been a full day, but we're just now getting... We're actually feeling alive, should I say? Sure. We're acting... We're acting? So Cameron was Cameron was home today, and we just kind of caught up on sleep. Well, Kate you, were, you weren't feeling very good, so I needed to be there to make sure you were taken care of. I wasn't feeling good, and it was just really nice of Cameron to come help and take care of me and Cadence, because it was definitely not a fun night in morning, afternoon, daytime. Oh, we just didn't record much, because we just I I was blah and Cameron was helping. We were just resting. Let's just, you know, that's all we were doing. So I'm feeling better um, and uh, we're hungry. And also Jessica's gonna take some newborn pictures of Cadence on Sunday and we need to get her a couple little um, things clothing wise for these little pictures. So I don't know exactly, exactly what to get her. I don't know if it'll be all Christmassy. Uh, we'll see. We're just gonna figure it out. We're gonna wing it. Wing it. We're gonna wing it. Gonna also, wing. also, our cats have zero dry food, <laughs> and they have for a little while now, like today, like all of today. like all day. <laughs> so we had they had wet food, but still they did a little angry. Yeah, they're they've been bugging us all day long. They were like, okay, we'll go out, we'll go out. So now we're just deciding to go out. So. It's raining a little bit, and that's nice. It's cold outside. So, anyways, yeah, off to Pet Smart and Target. Yeehaw! <laughs> that AT and T store right there. You guys can kind of barely see the uh, the sign. <clears throat> I worked there for a week and a half. Is it even that long? A week? Uh, a week, yeah. Basically. <laughs> Just basically about a week. They told me when I was working there I had much longer hair. <clears throat> and they kept giving me crap about cutting my hair and cutting my hair and cutting my hair. And I really didn't want to work there in the first place. But a good buddy of mine got, <clears throat> got the job for me. And it paid pretty well. But it was kind of, kind of one of those moments where it's either I felt at that time and don't I was like 23 I was young I was young and, and foolish it was either you know have a job or be true to myself and not cut my hair man and fight fight the system man it was so quite a commute from where you lived you lived true. a long ways away and you had a Honda Ridgeline which was like gas guzzler so it ended up being like mm, is this really worth it yeah, there were a lot of things that went into that, but yeah. but the final straw was them giving me the crap hair. over my hair. Yeah. And I was like, I'm done. Yeah. I'm out. You're like, oh, this isn't worth it. And what's funny is I didn't have a beard back then. Mm. Right? Weird. That is weird. Yeah. And normally I've had facial hair, but there was, a, there was a period of time there where I was clean shaven, but had long hair. Go figure. I don't know. I swapped it out. I now have short hair and a beard. <laughs> he likes to keep things... Uh... Uh, keep them the keep them interesting and spicy yeah i guess i don't know i don't know anyway fun story that's uh we'll, we'll talk more about dead end jobs at some point maybe i haven't had that many dead end jobs though no you haven't hmm. it's raining it is hallelujah it's not it's not raining men don't worry that'd be weird <laughs> but it is raining <laughs> <laughs> Get up there. If you want, you can. I'll, I'll move back so you can put the camera to the screen. Oh, I think we're good. We're, okay. It's actually getting through, surprisingly. Thank you, though. Okay.